वेलकम बैक टू दर सेशन इन मैट लाइफ फॉर बिगनर्स प्ले लिस्ट सो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट क्रीड ओके सो मेनी ऑफ यू आर सेंग दैट आई डोंट नो वॉट इज मीन बाय क्रीड एंड आई एम अटल बिट कन्फ्यूजन रिगार्डिंग ग्रीड सो वाई वी आर यूजिंग एक्जैक्टली द ग्रीड एंड वॉट आर ऑल द एडवांटेजेस एंड हाउ वी कैन यूज दैट क्रीड इन अवर प्रोग्राम practically okay so all those things we are going to cover in this session so if you are new to the channel please hit the like button and subscribe the channel and if you have not seen the previous videos of this playlist then this is the playlist which is specially made for beginners so if you are a beginner in matlab then you should see the videos which you have uploaded previously because each and everything is explained in detail so that videos are in detail so that's why they are lengthy but please watch the video if you want clarity okay so with that said i will just start our session with i am grid or uh, i can say just a grid here so first thing what we need to write is we just write these things in common for all the programs clc then close all and the last command is sorry clear all so these are the three commands which will be written for everything that is first one to close all the uh, values which will be present uh, like uh, anything which operations uh, previous operations we need to erase and clear means it will release all the variables which were used previously so it will deallocate the memory uh, which we, which has been previously allocated for some other purposes okay so it is basically clearing the cache inside so after that uh, to understand the grid tool here we need to plot some data so let us say i have got a variable called a and it is a vector which contains the data 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and, uh, and maybe 11 so some data is there okay so this is the vector and uh, i want to plot this one okay so how i can plot so just you need to write like plot a so this will basically plot the data i will just run this one and show you how you can plot so now you can see my data has been plotted and uh, it has got values uh, 11 samples and the 11 samples are matched to 11 respective values here but you can see we can't say uh, i mean what is the position of this point so you can't define uh, easily here so it may be 6 or 5.9 something like that but if i use grid so here the grid comes into picture that is the grid is used to define the points on the graph accurately so if you want to define a point on this graph accurately then you should use grid so grid will basically help you to define the points on the graph so how i can define the grid i will just close this one and now i will just write one sentence grid on so this will make sure that grids will be drawn in the output so i'll just run again and you can see this is the output what i'm getting now so you can see the difference let me just uh, um, okay so let us say p is equal to a that means i have uh, copied the contents of a to b and i'm plotting this one also okay so now you can see this is without grid i mean i have plotted the b and which is not having any grid and if i delete these things okay and just plot a with grid then it will be having grids right so this is how you can easily plot guys right so after that <clears throat> now you understood what is grid okay so this is a quick introduction to the grid and um, i can also add labels over here like uh, x label and inside these round brackets i should use single quotes and um, i can say whatever uh, variable you can assign so variable of your choice okay and y label 
this is also same guys anything you want so like uh, i can say sample values or you can give anything here so that is that doesn't matter itself so i'll just save this one and run this one now you can see the label is also present like variable of your choice anything you can give and sample values along y-axis so uh, that is basically how we can use x label y label and grid in matlab okay so i hope this quick video is useful for you please hit the like button if you found it useful and follow the channel by subscribing so thank you guys thanks for watching